What's up guys? It is officially uh, four to five days after the 2017-2018 bodybuilding.com challenge has ended. It's Thursday, April the 12th. I uh, just finished up some cardio myself. Uh, but uh, this goes out to everyone that I trained that uh, did the challenge. Uh, I just want to give you huge props and tell you all congratulations on a job well done. Uh, I know a lot of you went through pure hell for the 12 weeks. Uh, some of you, uh, you left no excuses. I mean, you just put in work day in and day out. And uh, the obvious uh, outcome was uh, what I like to call epic in a lot of cases. I think that a lot of these transformations are simply mind-blowing. A lot of them are completely unbelievable. And there's some cases that if I didn't know that this was true, I wouldn't really know if it was uh, uh, legit or not just based on how uh, much some of you have changed during these 12 weeks. Uh, you look like a completely different person. Um, the added muscle, the fat loss, uh, so much uh, has changed in so many of you that it, it is probably going to be hard for people to uh, really grasp it, that this was a 12-week transformation. But on your side of things, that's a huge positive and uh, it's just a job well done. Um, I think the biggest thing here uh, over the 12 weeks was that I saw was uh, the muscle that uh, a lot of the girls put on. Uh, it was really impressive. Um, and a lot of the girls, they went from having uh, flat booties, pancake booties, uh, saggy booties, whatever you want to call it, and they turned those booties into, uh, uh, you know, just look at the pictures. You're going to see what I'm talking about. You can call it what you want, but it's, uh, it's some unreal work to see that sort of thing happen in 12 weeks' time. Um, I just want to commend uh, everyone again uh, on the job you did, but... There are a few that uh, went through pure hell over this tw these 12 weeks. There's uh, there's uh, doctors, nurses, uh, uh, dentists, teachers. Uh, I know there's a lot in the military, and I remember some of you emailing me, you know, telling me you're going to be working over 18 hours and going to be awake 24 hours, and you just needed to know what you should do with your nutrition during this time, and uh, that. It, to have no excuses and just uh, grind it out no matter what the circumstance may be that tells a lot about the person and I hope that each of you that did something like this uh, that you put it in your story that you post up um, on Body Space or wherever but just let people know what you did uh, let them know about the struggles you went through and how you overcame them and uh, it just uh, it, it tells a lot about you in general not just your transformation but uh, not just the outside, but it, it gives a little bit of uh, insight about uh, the drive and the determination level that uh, you committed uh, yourself to for this uh, these 12 weeks. And I hope that uh, I hope that uh, most of you uh, carry this lifestyle on. You don't uh, revert back to your old ways that got you to the condition uh, where you were even able to do the challenge. Uh, I do know that a, for a lot of you this was not just about weight loss. Some of you did it uh, because there was a prize for the most added muscle. And uh, those of you that set out to do this with the muscle, uh, you did one hell of a job. So uh, congratulations. Um, it's, a, it's an incredible job by everyone, but the ones that uh, really dropped all the fat and put on the muscle, um, that really stands out to me uh, in many ways. And I hope... Uh, I would like to see uh, all of you win something. Uh, I know it's not possible, but uh, you all deserve it. Um, so uh, I think you should be happy. Be proud. Like I said, I hope you continue to live this uh, this uh, lifestyle. Uh, you have the tools to do so. Uh, I've told many of you that uh, I'm willing to keep working with you as long as you desire. Um, there's some of you I think that you can you should consider to uh, get on stage and compete last year after Kylie won the challenge uh, we set out a plan for her to compete later on that year and she did so uh, she came to Kentucky uh, and competed in one of the biggest shows probably in uh, I like I think it's one of the biggest shows throughout the US uh, they bring in some pros and they do uh, they do uh, they have a bikini pro, a, a classic physique.
pro show right before the NPC show. Uh, people come from all over the world to do that show. And uh, anyway, Kylie competed in that show and she did uh, really, really well. Uh, I think if you set yourself up for a goal like that after you've, you've done the challenge, that um, it makes this lifestyle a little, a little um, more fun. Uh, it gives you that other goal to shoot for. Uh, definitely something worth something worth considering uh, for those of you that I've mentioned it to. And um, again, job well done. Uh, congratulate you all, and I, I just uh, really appreciate you trusting in me to take you through this process. Until next time, uh, keep on grinding.